Okay, hi everyone, welcome back. And in this update, we are going to check out internet computer charts, and I'm going to tell you, even with the recent move on the downside, why am I still very much optimistic in ICP in the short term? But before that, we are going to talk about something very, very interesting and potentially a very important reason for why I believe Caffeine AI is going to be an unbelievably massive success and it will most likely lead to an astronomic amount of adoption. So some guy on Twitter decides to mess around with Caffeine and he gives it a few prompts, nothing really crazy. And in a couple of minutes, the thing spits out a working DocuSign style app. Now, to understand how important this actually is, pay attention to what he says. This is a $15 billion market and Caffeine just tapped into that market with a snap of a finger. This is very, very important. Now, in this process, there was no coding, just simple plain language. And the app included, number one, document upload and management, number two, save signatures, number three, admin panel, number four, audit trail, number five, multi-signer workflows, and finally, a homepage with reviews and CTAs. Now, here is where it gets kind of interesting. You see, this is absolutely not a backend on Firebase or maybe a frontend on React setup. No, the whole thing runs entirely on internet computer, and that includes backend logic, data storage, user authentication, all hosted through canister smart contracts. So in practical terms, somebody just spun up an enterprise level decentralized app in literally minutes with no AWS, no GitHub, no third party plugins, just prompts and the chain. Now, here is a very, very important point to understand. And it's actually what we have talked about Caffeine already for so long. You see, Caffeine AI isn't just a cute tool. No, it's very, very important to understand that. It's actually an interface to ICP a smart contract layer using canisters as building blocks. If you are unfamiliar with how ICP works, you see, basically canisters are smart contracts with integrated storage and compute. They don't really need an external database or server. So when Caffeine deploys your app, it is not just spinning up a front. It is actually launching the whole stack on chain. Frontend, backend, logic, roles, even the deployment process. It is all done through AI props. And I promise you, this isn't something you get, for example, with Firebase. No. This is exactly what Dominic Williams means when he talks about the concept of SWI, self-writing internet. And I fully understand this does sound like kind of a buzzword, but when you see an actual DocuSign like app pop out of chat prompt, that is worth paying attention to. Now, let's get real for a second because not everybody at the moment is sold on this. I recently saw some developers on Reddit and forums saying that's okay, so what? The apps look absolutely basic and we could already build this with ChatGPT and Firebase. Now, here's a very important point. I think that's absolutely fair enough. But here is the counterpoint to that. You see, this is absolutely not about what developers are able to do. No, this is completely about what non-developers with the help of Caffeine AI are now able to do. The moment someone with no tech background builds something usable without really touching any terminal or reading a document, in my view, that is a big shift. Now, do these apps need improvements? The answer is absolutely yes. They still need iterations, feedback loops, maybe even real UX design. But the fact that it is all on chain, that's kind of the critical part. The thing lives inside ICP infrastructure, so you don't really rely on big tech cloud services. And that means no AWS bans, no central server hacks, no random outages. The infrastructure itself in this scenario becomes censorship resistant, tamper resistant, and also auditable by default. So as a conclusion, I think Caffeine AI is going to be a massive success and we haven't really seen it going fully mainstream yet, but this is in my view, one of those rare cases where the vision absolutely, it seems like that is lining up with the technology underneath. And if it clicks or let's say when it clicks and also if it actually becomes usable for creators, startups, and even enterprise teams who just simply want to escape the dev works, it could be a huge, huge game changer. 
and hopefully we are going to see more and more apps on icp which will lead to more canisters which will lead to more cycles being burned and guess what that leads to yep you guessed it right more real demand for icp token that is where the bullish case comes in this might not be the killer app just yet but it could easily become the killer platform for spinning up potentially and hopefully millions and millions of decentralized apps all on chain all ai built and all using icp at the core now you answer me do you think that with all the fantastic fundamentals that we are having on icp we are not going to have a magnificent bull run by the end of this cycle i think number one in this cycle we are indeed going to get an alt season and as long as i'm not proven otherwise this is going to be my primary case and number two in it the projects that have better fundamentals are going to have an insane bull run and since icp is one of them in my view based on what we talked about in so many videos i think makes sense to be absolutely bullish in here now what is going on on the live charts and do we have the right setups and i believe you already know the answer is absolutely yes you see in the long term this is on daily time frame we are having a one two three four five wave down off of the high side to about the lowest level down here around two and a half dollars and this means that probably in internet computers some sort of a low is that is this the only bullish sign no what do we have off of the lowest slope a clear cut picture perfect one two three four five wave impulsive structure which is again yet another optimistic sign suggesting the final low is n and also what are we having after this five wave up you know the answer a correction and structure down a slow and choppy move down now on a higher degree this in my view can be an insane bullish setup why because this might be into a wave one followed by a correction for wave two and if this scenario is happening what are we going to have next in the coming months i'm going to argue a massive move up into wave three four five and you want to remember in terms of elios waves wave three is usually a very very strong and sharp move and it is exactly why i am saying we can expect a massive move up in the coming months for internet computers so overall i think we absolutely have the right setups what about the short term price action you see if you remember in the previous video we were right around i think this area and the idea was that because of of the lowest low finding an impulse is going to be a bit of a challenge and our best shot i think at finding a five wave was if we said that this is going to be like a one two three four five however unfortunately in the supposedly five wave wave three came down to be the smallest wave which is a big no-no in Elios waves that is exactly why we argued more likely than not this is a correction structure and after it's over our move down is going to continue and Annette, we're going to take the lowest slope down here and well that pretty much played out question is should we right now be absolutely bearish on icp i don't really think so for two reasons you see number one we do have a one two three four five wave up to about this point and number two we actually expected this move down and we said on a higher degree there's a very good chance that we are having a w x y in form of a flat and a zigzag and i am really hoping that this is going to be yet another one and a two which will lead to a very strong move up into wave three four five for now i would like to have this thing as my primary scenario now can we have a bearish sign suggesting we're going to get like a massive move down from the current point yes but as long as i'm not seeing a decent move down internet computer in order to take this low about let's say four and a half dollars i am not really going to have that scenario as my primary case for now i think we are still going according to the bullish track despite even the recent move on the downside. now one very important good sign that we can see in the short term is this a very strong move one two three four five in order to take this high and more importantly take this one right in here about six dollars why is that because if from here we get a move up and then we take this high at that point finding a five wave in this phase is going to be very very challenging to a degree that is really not going to be my primary case and at that point i can be bullish with just a bit more confidence so overall i think we are still looking optimistic in internet computer right now there's simply nothing to be worried about and if you really do not care about the short-term price action and you care about fundamentals i think with the launch of caffeine ai the fundamental case for icp is just going to get more and more stronger and i hope i explained everything well and you understood what is going on in internet computer anyway 
If you found any value in my content, I would really appreciate if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and follow me on Twitter. And if you want more, maybe you want a complete analysis for your own specific crypto, or maybe you want to learn some decent TA in order to be able to make good money in the markets, you can become a member and ask me anything you want. And until the next update, I hope you have a wonderful time with your family and loved ones. Goodbye.